Hey y'all and welcome back to another segment here on GEMS Podcast. For those of you that are new, thank you so much for checking us out. For those seasoned listeners, welcome back. We're glad to have you. So today I have a guest with me in the hot seat by the name of Jeff Lader and him and I are going to spend some time talking about health and fitness, nutrition and why that's important for personal development. But before we dive down that rabbit hole to give you all the education that he has, I definitely want to tell you a little bit more about who Jeff is so you kind of know who you're hearing from. So he says, I'm Jeff Later. I love talking about all things health and fitness and making it realistic for everyone to take control of their lives. I've been in the fitness space for over 15 years, and I've worked with over 6,000 individuals. I help people level up and find optimal ways to achieve health and wellness without disrupting their entire lives. Not only can you look great, but you're healthier and operate at a higher level when you're fit. It doesn't have to be hard. It just has to be understood. Emphasis on understood. I can spread the message and add value in many ways because he's actually been around the block. He's been in this industry for over a decade, y'all. So he definitely knows what he's talking about. And I'm sure he's going to walk it like he talk it, especially here on this show, because you know we like to be real, raw, and transparent. So without further ado, let's welcome the man behind it all, Jeff Later. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the introduction. I'm looking forward to uh, having a great conversation. My pleasure, Jeff. And before we jump into the meat and potatoes of the conversation, I want to do the connection segment, which allows you to connect with the audience in a fun and personal manner. There are two options you can choose from, either an icebreaker or a rapid fire 10 question game. Emphasis on rapid. What are you in the mood for? Let's do the rapid fire. Sounds fun. Okay, here we go. We're playing rapid fire with Jeff and Genesis. Do, 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 do. Question number one. What, what got you into the health and fitness space? My mom. Question two, favorite color? Black. Question three, if you could have lunch or dinner with any person, past or present, who would it be? My wife. Question four, what's one word to describe you? Bold. Question five. If you could listen in to any conversation and be a fly on the wall, past or present, what conversation are you eavesdropping in? Conversation between my wife and her twin sister. Question six. Favorite food? Uh, burgers. Mm, okay. Question seven. Where are you originally from? Salt Lake. Question eight, if you could go anywhere in the world and money was no option, where would you be headed? Mm, Hawaii. Question nine, what is your typical choice of coffee? Oop, it broke up. I didn't hear you. What did you say? So question nine, what is your drink of choice? Coffee, tea, or something else? Coffee. And question 10, it's our pass or play question. And here are the rules. If you pass, our rules are reversed. And this is where you ask me a question. If you choose to play, I ask one last question to wrap up rapid fire. So do you want to pass or play? I'll pass because I ain't got nothing. <laughs> okay. So what is your question for me? Um, oh, no, I mean, I mean, play. Sorry. Oh, you want to play? Okay. Yeah, sorry. I already <laughs> interpreted that wrong. No worries. So I see later lifestyle in the background. So later is spelled in a different way. So how did you come up with the spelling and the name of your business? Uh, honestly, just playing off my last name. So it was, it was just a unique way to present it. And, you know, when we created it 10 years ago, it was just kind of going off of short code text almost because uh, people speak in code these days. So we kind of played off that and used our last name. Amazing. So thank you for playing Rapid Fire. Audience, I hope you learned something new about Jeff. So that concludes the connection part of the segment. Now we're going to jump into the main part of the segment, which is the work that you're doing in health and fitness, nutrition, and helping people level up with personal development. 
So during the rapid fire, you mentioned that your mom was what got you into fitness. Can you talk about that in a little bit? Yeah. Well, you know, it's uh, when I think back to like the influences that, that kind of shaped my you know direction in life, obviously your parents are huge in, in that regard, but um, my mom was one that it was indirect where she would, she was running five K's and 10 K's every weekend. And then back when I was growing up, aerobics was like the big, you know, the big fad. And so she was doing that. She would go to the, the aerobics classes. And I think, you know, my sisters and I, I come from a family of six kids, so big family. And, uh, we'd all be there in like childcare where my mom was, um, at least the oldest of us were, um, and my kids weren't my younger brothers and sisters weren't born yet, but I did, it just impressed upon me something. Um, and that's where it started. And I remember when I was 12 years old, when I was finally allowed to enter the gym room floor, um, I did, I remember I was so anxious that I had to wait till I was of age and I got in there and tinkered around until I figured something out. Um, but yeah, definitely attribute it to my mom for getting me started. Amazing. And I do see that you have some awards behind you in the, in the back end. So whenever you, um, fell in love with fitness and your mom was a big influence, what was the first, um, what was the first entry point whenever you said, I'm going to focus on this area of fitness? Well, you know, it was my, my story again, there is a little bit different because I never viewed fitness as being a career. Uh, it is for me now, obviously, but it's not kind of how I was raised. It's just something that you do as a hobby or something you incorporate into your life. And, and it always was. Um, but in terms of like a career or a job, it wasn't something that um, I viewed as even an option. But in terms of those, those awards, I mean, that's from, from competing in bodybuilding competitions, which um, I didn't actually end up doing until I was 30 uh, for the first time. So it took me a long time before I, I took that plunge. Uh, but that's what those are from. Amazing. And I know your business is called Later Lifestyle and you wanted it to commemorate your last name and et cetera. And I know you're married and you have a family. So as far as, you know, building a legacy and foundation for your family, do you hope that your family will take up the torch and continue in the footsteps that you're in? Well, you know, I, I, have, I have three beautiful daughters and, you know, we, we have tried to, you know, teach them the right habits and, and, and things like that from a health perspective, but never, uh, we've always been really careful about it as well, because we don't want to give them some sort of um, idealistic impression that they need to look a certain way or that they need to maintain a certain, you know, level of body fat or something like that. Even though a lot of people come to us for help with that, we didn't want to create some sort of disorder really with, with their, their relationship with food and stuff. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I want them to live healthy lives, live productive lives and happy lives. Um, but I don't want fitness to be like the dominating factor, you know, either. Cause some people get too, too obsessed about some of those things and it becomes unhealthy. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, I hope that for sure that they, they, uh, remember all the things that we've taught them as kids. Absolutely. And thank you for sharing that because it is a balance, like, you know, not just making sure that you are healthy. And I like to say healthy from a holistic point of view, because that looks like your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. But then if you're firing on all those cylinders and that actually helps you on the personal development side, because then you're really being intentional your fitness regimen, you're being intentional on your holistic regimen when it comes to health because your body is your temple. So for anyone out there listening, Jeff, and they say, okay, Jeff, I want to do a better job on myself, like holistically. And I want to really look at the grand scheme of health and fitness, but I want to do what works for me and not based on societal norms. What type of tips would you give to that individual? Well, I mean, that, that's a great question because, you know, there are so many different, you know, as I was saying before, idealistic views on, on how somebody should look or how they should feel. Um, I think, you know, health is super important, right? We have one body, we need to take care of it. And, and I think that as long as you are happy with your, with your body and that you're healthy too, um, then, then you're, you're in a good place. Um, unfortunately, a lot of, not a lot of people are there because of, honestly, with the, the world that we live in right now, isn't very conducive to optimal health. You know, everything is based on convenience and, and we're a whole, whole lot less active than we used to be, um, which has led to a lot more, a lot increase in disease, increase in obesity, 
um, increase in depression, right? Uh, mental health has, has been a huge factor the last couple of years. Um, and, you know, I'm, there's got to be a correlation there to the, the increased inactivity or decreased activity, however you want to word it, because um, everyone was at home, right? Um, and there's a lot of people gained the weight over the, you know, the, the last couple of years as well. And, and that's, you know, there's, there's a mental health correlation with that too, because there's so many people that identify or, or even have a personal worth or value based on how they look, which is not great, but that's kind of what society puts upon us. Right. Um, and so I think, yeah, if you're, if you're able to develop a good relationship with food, a good relationship with your body, a good body image, um, then that's what matters most you know, uh, instead of reaching some sort of a uh, specific dress size or, you know, whatever it is that you're, you're shooting for, um, which there's nothing wrong with that as that's a goal, as long as everything else is in check. Right. Um, it's, it's whatever means the most to you as a person. Amazing. And thanks, um, thanks for sharing that because what I'm hearing is it sounds with that individual understanding what it is that they want and why it matters to them, then you can begin to help them take the necessary actions to, you know, help with the health and fitness and then help them with personal yeah. development. Would you say that I heard you correctly? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, one thing that we, we ask when, cause we have an application process when somebody um, approaches us. And one of the questions that we ask in that short questionnaire is why, why do you want to do this? And then we ask them a couple more times once they've begun, because we want to really dig deeper there to figure out what is the true meaning behind this? Because this from a surface level, a common answer might be, well, why do you want to do this? Well, I want to lose weight. Okay. But that's not really what they're after, right? It's, it's, it's what that brings. It's, it's, it's what that can mean in their life. And it could mean that they have increased confidence or increased energy, increased strength, you know, something like that. But what that means is, is beyond that too. It's like, well, maybe have increased confidence, which may result in, you know, a better relationship or um, a new relationship, or maybe advancement in my career, or maybe I'm, I'm showing up a little bit more confident in my job. You know, there's different things like that where it has an indirect impact, but it's never what if people are saying is the reason why they want to do it. But that is ultimately the benefit of, of reaching that state. I like that. So definitely going be beyond the surface level with those individuals that come to you just to make sure not only is it a good fit for later lifestyle, but it's also a good fit for that individual because, you know, they have to have some type of accountability and hold you hold them accountable, but they also have to hold themselves accountable in order for things to change in their life because you could give them all the resources and tools, but if they're not applying it, what good is seeking out the information? Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, because ultimately it is up to the individual to do it, right? Nobody can do it for you. Nobody's going to be watching you at all hours of the day. You know, it's kind of like what you do behind closed doors ultimately is what's going to determine your success. And, and I think if you are, if you really are connected and you really are able to find out what that why is, what it is that's, that's driving you and you have reminders for yourself, um, then, then ultimately nothing can stop you. Having some accountability partners and people there to guide you and help you most definitely can help as well. Surrounding yourself with people that support your goals um, rather than the opposite, which, which can definitely happen as well, um, are things that you can, can incorporate to, to ease that path. Uh, but ultimately, it's always going to come down to the individual. You know, no matter how good of a coach I'm, I am, it still comes down to the person. You know, they have to, to carry out the work and and maintain that, that mental fortitude during those times that are going to be challenging because there's always going to be challenges along the way. Amazing. And I, I like the fact that it's going to come down to the individual because each one of us has a reason, has a mission, has a purpose. But until we fully tap into it, then you're going to be missing the mark because you haven't fully developed what it is that you were created to do and why you need to tap into it. And once you do, then I truly believe opportunities and doors are going to open and you're going to not only feel good, but you're going to look good. And when you look good, you feel good or vice versa. We've all heard that. Yeah. But one thing I want to say is stop looking at what somebody else is doing and stop trying to measure yourself up with what's taking place on social media because people are only telling you one side of their story. They're not telling you everything. And I feel like if we really engage and be real, raw, and authentic 
and just show who we are, then I think, you know, it would change some of the narratives that we're seeing today, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I mean, social media is a dangerous place. I and mean, we, we get so stuck in the comparison, you know, syndrome, we start comparing our journey to somebody else's or our lives to somebody else's. But you got to remember that what they're showing you is what they want you to see. And it's usually someone's highlight reel. And oftentimes it's not even all that real. It's, 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 it's fake. They're, they're trying to make themselves look like they have this amazing life where they're actually really, really depressed behind closed doors and none of what they're showing is real. Right. And so it creates, it creates all sorts of, um, I mean, mental health issues with so many people because they, they see these lives of other people are like, oh my gosh, they have like this picture perfect life. It's so easy for them to lose, lose weight. You know, what's wrong with me? And they start comparing and then they get really depressed and it's just, it's dangerous. Um, so you have to have, make sure that you're looking through the right lens when you're, if you are, you know, looking on social media and remember those things. Absolutely. And I think that's a, a great motivation tip right there is whenever you're looking on social media, remember people, like Jeff said, they're only putting out what they want you to see and how it portrays them in a good light. Not everyone is doing that, but you know, some people, some people are. So you really have to decipher and find clarity and focus on what has your attention and what are you feeding? How are you feeding yourself? And what you're feeding yourself, how is it making you feel? Because you should be in it for the longevity. You should want that sustainability and et cetera. Early on in the rapid fire, when we were doing the connection, Jeff, you said one word that described yourself was bold. So can you tell me, how are you being bold on the forefront as well as behind the scenes and closed doors when no one is there uh, with you, your wife and the kids? Um. Well, behind, I don't know, that might be a hard one to describe behind closed doors. I mean, I don't, I think that, you know, I like to live a congruent life, right? So I want that, you know, how I'm, how I am by myself or how I am in public or with other people, it's, it's, it's consistent. Um, you know, a big, you know, our, our, we have core values as a company and our number one core value is, is, is no BS. Um, we like to, I, I don't believe in, you know, beating around the bush. I want to make sure that I'm direct and to the point. And, and, uh, in some, and oftentimes with the industry that I'm in and health and fitness, um, I don't, you know, it, it's not the, the best industry. It's not the most, uh, it's not full of integrity is a good way to put it. Um, it's a nice way to put it, honestly, but it's a little bit scammy, a little bit sleazy at times. They're not really, most of the people out there aren't really looking to help people. They're just looking to make money. And, and that's not, it drives me crazy, actually. And so I, I'm constantly speaking out against some of the stuff that people get duped into, uh, just to, if, if anything, it can, it can prevent somebody from going down the, the wrong rabbit hole and getting stuck and frustrated and getting, then giving up on themselves. Um, cause it happens so many times cause there's so much bad advice out there. There is great advice as well, but being able to filter through that stuff can be very challenging at times. And so from a bold standpoint, I go against the grain. I, I really do try to, to speak out, uh, you know, I try to share value, share truths, teach people, add value in their lives when, I, when I'm on social media, especially, um, and, and focus on those things so, it's, so it can actually help people. Um, some choose to work with me, some, some don't, which is totally fine. I, it's, it's, I'm not there to sell, it's there to, to add value um, and, and help people see through the BS that dominates the industry, unfortunately. Thank you for sharing that. And outside of that whole no BS, what are the other core values and mission behind your brand? Uh, the other core values show up. You know, we want to make sure that we are showing up for people, um, especially with, with the types of roles that we are as coaches. We, we you know, we're a team of, of 15 and uh, we want to make sure that we are there for people. Sometimes we, they don't have anybody else. You know, so when they come, come to us, we're their lifeline. And, and we're there to, to sometimes it's a last resort uh, to, to help them reach their goals. Um, we also have um, walk the walk. You know, we want to make sure that we're leading by example and, and not being hypocritical in the stuff that we're advising them to do, because uh, that's, you know, for obvious reasons, that's just not congruent with what we're trying to get them to do. So if we're not, you know, living the life and, and leading by leading, lead from the front, as I like to say, um, then it's, you know, it's not going to resonate. They're going to see through it. Um, it's just not the way we want to go about things. 
you know, it totally, it goes against the first, uh, first core value of no BS. Um, and then we are family is another core value. Um, and that's, that's kind of an internal, obviously core values more to define the internal, um, environment, but we're, we're a very tight knit group and, uh, we all support each other. We all edify each other. We're there for each other whenever we need them, whenever we need each other. And, uh, we get together often, but we're more like a bunch of friends than we are, uh, coworkers. So it's kind of cool. And then growth mindset's the last one. Um, you know, we, obviously there's growth mindset versus fixed mindset, which is a whole different conversation, but it feels like the world has a fixed mindset for the most part. We set limitations on ourselves, all sorts of limiting beliefs. And, uh, and that's just not the way to live. I think we all are, have unlimited possibilities, unlimited potential, and we need to seek those out. And so that's something that we're always trying to do. We're, we're constantly internally, we're, we have all sorts of education and, and continued education. We bring in mentors, we bring in other coaches to work with us. Uh, so that we're always improving, never staying still. Amazing. So there's a lot, there's a lot there. And it seems like not only do you just do it from the professional side, but you also incorporate some of that in the personal side. So thank you for, for sharing those core values. And audience, I'm just going to recap those core values in case you missed them. So number one was no BS. Number two is show up. Number three is walk the walk don't be hypocritical. Number four was we are family. And he said, number five was growth mindset. And that is what describes the core values for later lifestyle. So if that resonates with you, this may be your, your area, like go research them and learn more. So Jeff, let's jump into the CTA, which is the call to action part of the segment. What is your call to action for the audience today? Once they just heard you drop the gems here. <laughs> Well, you know, um, if, if I guess if somebody does feel stuck, um, I, I guess I'll make this offer with, with your, with your audience, you know, if they, I'm happy to, to give advice and I wouldn't charge anybody, you know, if somebody wants to shoot me an email, shoot me a message on Instagram, um, Facebook, whatever, I'm happy to, to give out advice. Um, if they want something more than that, and they're looking for, you know, some one-on-one -on -one attention, some one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, everything that we do is tailored to each individual. And, uh, and that's what we do. Obviously we're coaches. We've been doing this for, you know, for a long time. Um, I think we're pretty good at what we do. Um, so if somebody wants that, they're happy to, I'm happy to, to talk with them as well. Amazing. And Jeff, thank you so much for just adding that value. So audience, he's offering y'all like a free discovery call or session. So all you need to do is just tap in and slide in and ask him a question. Don't be afraid. Questions are made to ask. So Jeff, what is your website? And you mentioned Instagram. So is that your pri primary um, social media outlet? And if so, plug that handle and plug that website. Yeah, just uh, Jeff Later, J-E-F-F-L-A-T-E-R on Instagram. That's the best way to find me. Um, and you, actually, you can actually use that website as well, jefflater.com. Um, that's probably the easiest to remember. Um, I think, you know, you mentioned you were going to post some links as well, but um, Instagram is probably where I spend most of the time on it, on social media, although I treat it as a pop in and pop out uh, approach because I don't like to scroll and, and waste too much time on there. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want to sign up for uh, notifications on my on my posts, I always try to, you know, drop little tidbits and nuggets for people. Um, and then if you have questions, feel free to shoot me a message. So there you have it, audience. You just heard from Jeff later with Later Lifestyle. He dropped some gems on here about health and fitness, nutrition, and we covered a little bit about personal development. If this segment resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe. We're on 40 plus audio platforms. You could also see the video to this recording by going to our YouTube channel, which is GEMS, G-E-M-S, with Genesis Amaris Camp. All of his contact information will also be in the show notes. So all you gotta do is read, scroll on down and tap in. And lastly, but not least, where would I be without my supporters? You know, I only think about you. I wanna thank each one of you for, you know, just carving out time in your day to listen to the show and listen to the content. Cause the goal here behind Gems is to bring you content that is educational inspirational and motivational, while I also like to weave in diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, because it does take all of us coming together to make this world a better place. So my big ASK 
ask is for brand sponsors. If you want to link arms with me and have your products and services heard right here on this show, where it's currently ranked in the top 2% globally out of 2.8 million podcasts per the metrics, which are KPIs, you could go to www.listennotes.com to fact check me on my metrics. And then Find out more info on how we could work together by going to my website, genesisamarskemp.net, or sending me a personalized email to genesisamarskemp at gmail.com. But I would love to collaborate and share space with you because this is the new way of creating synergies, not the new competition. So let's go further and faster together and partner our zone of geniuses. So until next time, peace, love, and lots of blessings. Have yourself an amazing day. And be mindful of what are you feeding yourself? How is it fueling you? And do you know your why? Because if you know your why, then you're going to be able to reverse engineer in order to take those action steps so you can live life optimally. So once again, signing out, Genesis of Mars Kemp and Jeff Later.